In October, the Public Health Agency of Canada, Participation, Queen's University, and the Canadian Society for Exercise Physiology released the first ever 24-hour movement guidelines for Canadians. They built off old recommendations and new studies to produce a document that shows Canadians what a healthy 24 hours looks like when it comes to physical activity, sedentary behaviors, and sleep. There are four different age categories. Early years, ages 0 to 4, children and youth, ages 5 to 17, adults, age 18 to 64, and adults, age 65 and over. There are also specific guidelines as well for two special population groups, individuals with MS and pregnant individuals. Today, we're going to examine the adults age 18 to 64 category in a little more detail. According to the guidelines, a healthy 24 hours includes three overarching recommendations. The first, performing a variety of types and intensities of physical activity. This includes an accumulation of at least 150 minutes per week of moderate to vigorous aerobic physical activity. What does that all mean? Well, we would describe moderate aerobic activity as intense enough to elevate your heart rate and keep a conversation, but not be able to sing. And vigorous aerobic activity would be elevating your heart rate substantially, and you could not say more than a few words without pausing for a breath. Activities would include things like lap swimming, running, hiking, and cross-country skiing. Participating in muscle strengthening activities using major muscle groups at least twice per week. As we age, muscle mass becomes more and more difficult to develop, but can be maintained with regular muscular strengthening activities. This becomes key in our later years to preserve our independence and maintain the quality of life that we are used to. Adding several hours of light physical activities like walking or standing each day. These light activities get us out of our chairs during the day, get blood flowing to all parts of our body, all while not having to expend a lot of energy to do our bodies good. The second recommendation, limiting sedentary time to eight hours or less, which includes no more than three hours of recreational screen time and breaking up long periods of sitting as often as possible. Prior to the pandemic, 29% of Canadians in this age range fell within the low active lifestyle, 10 or more sedentary hours per day. We know now in the current environment, sedentary behavior is increasing, driving that number even higher. A recent study of over 19 million smartphone users with step trackers showed that the number of steps taken daily has dropped between 30 and 50%, depending on the region that you live in. The last recommendation is getting seven to nine hours of good quality sleep on a regular basis with consistent bed and wake up times. With regular sleep, you will see better concentration throughout your day, better memory and recall, a boosted immune system, improved ability to manage stress, and many others. A few things to try if you struggle to sleep, adding physical activity to your day, limiting caffeine, keeping your room dark and cool, and ridding yourself of devices 15 minutes prior to bedtime. Following these guidelines may be challenging, but progressing toward any of the guideline targets will result in some health benefits and exponentially decrease some health risks. Benefits include improved bone health, quality of life, and physical function, a lower risk of mortality, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, several cancers, anxiety, depression, and dementia, to name a few. Check out csep.ca guidelines for more information on these recommendations.